there has been this new leak on uh, on uh, Call of Duty, uh, Charlie Intel, and uh, I saw it on Ali A's channel, I saw it on Team Martin's channel, and it is this poster right here, uh, it's a World War II poster, if you guys can't see, and um, it, it looks like an advanced warfare, like it, it it looks like this is Call of Duty 2017. A lot of rumors have been spreading saying that Call of Duty 2017 was going to be World War II based, you know? And obviously, Call of Duty 2017 is going to be, like, early in time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's going to be early based. Uh, and no one's going to want jetpacks. So it does make sense for it to be World War II based, you know what I'm saying? Um, and honestly, the one thing that, the one issue that I have with it Almost every single Call of Duty post that I can remember has a main guy in the middle. Ali touched up on this in his video. And it, this guy, like, there is no main guy in the video. Maybe there's, like, a theme that they're going for where it's, like, all for one, one for all. Like, you know, like, kind of like what they did with Infinite Warfare in the campaign. But honestly, there's always one guy in the middle in Call of Duty posters. And this does not have one guy. That's, the, like, probably the only problem that I have with it. One problem that I don't have with uh, have with it about why it could be real, it, this could definitely be real, and I do think it's real because of the colors. Look at the Advanced Warfare colors, and then look at this poster right here. Look at the Advanced Warfare poster, and then look at the World War II poster. It has the same colors, the same kind of like Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty, World War II, like titling in the background, the beige, like a lot of dust everywhere. And um, it looks like they're both sledgehammer games, you know what I'm saying? So it definitely could be a thing. Maybe that's like the style they're going for for both these games, you know? And um, I feel like that's definitely a big possibility, you know? Um, that's like the main reason why I think this is real. I do think this is real. Usually we start to get teasers around this time. I thought it would be a little later until we got some teasers. Um... But maybe not, maybe not, maybe, uh, you know, it's going to be a little earlier this year. I think we're going to get probably some more shit around, what's today, the 24th? Yeah, it's like the 25th, 24th. I think we're going to get some more shit around, like, April, like, around April 10th, April 11th. I think we're going to get something new, um, something fresh, you know, like, something that... Uh, I think we're gonna get something teased to us, I, whether it's a gun, whether it's a camo, whether it's something. I feel like they're gonna get it's gonna get teased to us. I'll try and find the date on which um, Infinite Warfare was teased in Black Ops Three, um, and like you know just assume in that like sense. But honestly, like look at the colors, look at the dust, look at the the grittiness, the feel of the posters. They both look the same. They, they feel the same. They have the same vibe to it where it's like nitty gritty, you know, down in the dirt getting, you know, doing what needs to be done. And like, I I feel like that's what Sledgehammer is going with Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? It has the same colors. It has the same vibe. I think it's real. I do think it's real firmly. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This has been Pam. I'll see you guys later. Peace out. My Twitter is in the description below. Hit me up whenever you like have questions for some. Uh, I'd be happy to answer questions, whether it's Elgato based or my setup based or anything like that. Just wanted to throw that out there. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.